you've been in the market. You've always made a point of telling me that you have been in the market well, for, the, for the whole time, but since for the, for the entire year, haven't you? Yeah, I've really ignored the noise of this recession talk. And let's face it, every expert, that's all they told us is by now that the economy was going to fall off a cliff. And I think, you know, markets are cruel because you had at the beginning of the last week, market was at a peak over 28% since last October. That was bullish on your show last year. Um, you know, two of the major bank strategists, they changed their tune and said, wait a second, we might be wrong. It's not a soft, it might be a soft landing, not a hard landing. And of course, the market went to sell off right after that, just to kind of spite some of these strategists that have been so dead wrong here. Well, here we are at 35,300 for the Dow Industrials, well over 4,000 for the S&P. Are we going higher? By the end of the year, will we be higher than we are now? So I think short term, your guess is good as mine. Longer term, by the end of the year, I think we're definitely going higher, only because the economy is not only is it not just not going off a cliff here, we're not going into negative GDP. GDP growth is starting to reaccelerate into the end of the year. If you look at GDP now, that's like uh, the measurement of where we're going to be for this quarter. We could be up over 3% for growth this quarter. That's phenomenal. That's way better than anyone expected. But would you withdraw that uh, idea of more gains still to come if inflation ticks up? We'll get numbers this week. And if the Fed responds with a couple of rate increases? I mean, we've had over 500% uh, or excuse me, 500 basis points in rate hikes so far, and it hasn't stopped this economy from moving in the right direction. I think the Fed's done, but even if they're not done right now, I think you've got to remember that most people locked in their mortgage rates a couple years ago. Businesses locked in low interest rates, and we had trillions of dollars that were beamed on the economy uh, for spending, and now you have wages going up, you have inflation moderating right now, so I think that into the end of the year, consumers are going to be strong, and baby boomers have like $74 trillion to spend. Baby boomers love to spend money. I don't think that's going to stop. So I think this economy is going to stay very hot. Baby boomers love they to have spend to, money. They really? Have to spend <laughs> money. They do. That's a beautiful tie. I feel like that wasn't a cheap tie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't bring me into this. I'm one of the oldest baby boomers around. Uh, well, <laughs> you, know, you have Steve no, Moore not. to my left. Yeah. <laughs> it's a battle of the boomers. Well, we've got a couple of 42 year olds and, and, and Steve and I, and that's what we've that's got. That's why we love to be called baby boomers. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, stress on the baby. So, look, I'm almost all in stocks right now. I've got some in bonds, but okay. mostly stocks. Am I doing the right thing? Stay where I am? I would here. I would absolutely stay here right now. I think it's a good time to be bullish. There's a lot of money that missed this move that has to get into this market. We've got a bona fide manufacturing boom coming back to the country. We're going to have a lot of spending on infrastructure because we have an election year next year. So right. time's, time's to be in. I, I remember poo-pooing you several times on this show. <laughs> it saying, hurt. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing here? But uh, you were right. You're right. That's I'll give I'm it to for. you. 15 love, okay, but it's not game, set, and match yet.